We're gonna make the cornmeal waffles with the ranch style eggs, but the ranch style eggs, they need a sauce. I'm gonna sweat the onions and garlic. Sweating means uh, sauteing without achieving any color. I'm gonna add our tomatoes. These are canned tomatoes, and I'm gonna put the juices in there as well. And then uh, a serrano chili pepper, which is sort of like a jalapeno. It's a fresh dried chili, it's got, it's got a good amount of heat. And then some red chilies. Two kinds of chili powder. If you can't find these, a good quality chili powder from your store will work really nicely. This is an ancho chili powder, which is sort of like a spicy raisin. It's got a little bit of fruitiness to it, a little bit of heat. And then a uh, red chili that's a little bit earthier. These are pasilla chilies, a little bit darker. All right, so we're just gonna let the chili sauce cook. And now we're gonna move on to our waffle batter. So we're making cornmeal waffles. And remember, we're gonna serve these waffles with the ranch style eggs. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then one cup of yellow cornmeal. Now the cornmeal is gonna give it a little bit of a nutty flavor. Actually, sometimes what I like to do in this case is toast the cornmeal first. But we're just gonna put the cornmeal in as is. So we have two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a little bit of salt, and a pinch of cumin. Cumin is that spice that you'll find in a lot of Latin dishes. It's a little earthy, a little bit goes a long way, so don't put too much in. And a little pinch of cayenne as well, just a little bit of heat. All right, these are our dry ingredients. You can smell the cumin right away. Now the wet ingredients, we have a couple of eggs. So I can whisk the eggs. One and three quarter cups of buttermilk. You know, buttermilk's gonna have that tanginess, and also because of the cultures in the buttermilk, it's gonna help to give us a nice tender waffle. And then a couple of tablespoons of honey. You know, I just learned the other day that the only natural ingredient that will never go bad is honey. So there you go. Okay, I'm also gonna add some butter, but first we're gonna combine these wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna start to gently mix just until it becomes incorporated and there'll be some lumps in it, it's totally fine. If you overmix the batter, you're gonna have tough waffles. And who wants a tough waffle? Okay, then I'm gonna fold in the, the melted butter. The amount of butter that you put in here is going to determine how crispy your waffle's going to be. I make mine sort of medium crispy. If I doubled the amount of butter, they'd be really crispy. Okay, waffle batter's done. We're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Something I always do with my batters, just because I want to make sure that the baking powder and baking soda are reacting so that we get nice, fluffy waffles. I'm crushing the tomatoes in my tomato and chili sauce. So now I'm going to make a, uh, a crema. So for this, we need fresh cilantro, some cotija cheese, which is like Mexico's version of Parmesan cheese. If you can't find cotija, use Parmesan. And then some pine nuts, and we're gonna puree all this up. We have the cilantro leaves and a mini chopper here. It's kind of cool to have like one of these small food processors on hand because if you're not making a lot of something, the bigger food processors, the blade doesn't actually get to you know what you're trying to puree. But so in this case, I'm just gonna use this little mini one and it's gonna work really nicely. I hope. Some pine nuts, some cotija, and then some garlic. Looks good. So we're gonna take a little bit of goat cheese, some of our Mexican crema. If you can't find Mexican crema, you know, creme fraiche or sour cream works perfectly. And we're gonna fold the pesto. That's not a real pesto, but you get the idea. Our cilantro mixture here, right into the crema. A little salt and pepper and some lime zest. I'm gonna finish up this sauce. I'm just gonna put a splash of red wine vinegar just to make sure I have enough acidity in there. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of chipotle puree. Chipotle's smoked jalapenos. You know, I like to use them and be careful because they're fiery and smoky. Mix this in there and let this cook for a couple minutes. And I'm just gonna chill it all out with a little bit of honey. I use a ton of honey in my cooking, not to make things sweet, but just to, uh, to balance out the big, strong flavors like you know these chili peppers. A little salt and pepper, and then our ranch-style red chili tomato sauce will be ready to go. All right, I'm just gonna spray my waffle iron with a little canola oil, non-stick spray. And I've let my waffle batter rest for about 30 minutes. Get our waffles going here. 
I'm gonna grate some cheeses. This is some white cheddar, so it's gonna be a little sharp. So, you know, Monterey Jack is a very good melting cheese. White cheddar melts pretty well, not as well as Monterey Jack, but it also has a nice sharp flavor. So my waffle, I'm looking for some crustiness, which I think we're getting here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You just want them to be cooked all the way through. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese right on top. Classically, for ranch style eggs, it would be a tortilla, but we're using waffles instead. Instead of a corn tortilla, it's a corn waffle. All right, so we're gonna go into the broiler. Let the cheese melt on top of the waffles. A Little bit of butter, just to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. A little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna cook my eggs sunny side up. Pour the eggs right on top of the waffle. And then we take some of our ranch style sauce. Some of our cilantro crema. Some green onions. And a little bit of cilantro. Let's give it a try. Mm. Love the crispiness of the cornmeal waffle. It really gives it a fantastic texture. Good heat here. If the tomato sauce is a little bit spicy, that's okay, because it has to cut through the eggs and the crema and the waffles. It's got a lot of work to do. That's good huevos rancheros.